Hi, I'm Santiago and I'm from Flash Beer. You know guys, I love going to bars and I love to drink beer. Unfortunately, these sometimes suck. You know, bars are always crowded and you have to wait like the eternal times for you to get the beer. It's horrible. We did a little research and we found out that we are not the only ones that were caring about this. Bar owners are losing money and they're losing sales and they're losing customers because of this. You know, we thought we could do something and here it is. We have Flash Beer. Flash Beer is a self-service beer dispenser that allows you to pour beers in your mobile app. In just 15 seconds you can take your glass from empty to full. <laughs> and it's as easy as a one to st three step. Step one, you go into the bar and you connect to the device via Bluetooth. Step two, well, you relax, you pour your beer. But don't worry, we only charge you for what to pour. Step three, payment. You have linked your credit card to our account, so that's how you pay. Well, actually, there's a fourth step. Enjoy your cold beer. Um, customers have a fully integrated payment system, and they can split with friends. They also um, have it, uh, well, it can be installed within minutes. Um, what about the bar owners? Bars need to be uh, remodeled, like this is the traditional method, and you need to break walls on the floor and pass pipelines. No, with us you don't need to do that. You just have the device, you put it beside the table, and there you go, you're ready to use. We can even customize to your bar preferences. We're actually uh, having a free installation um, but we're charging a 15% 15 per, uh, 15 commission per transaction. That's our revenue model. We have a traction, we have sold 300 liters of beer. We have over 100 users right now that have our app and are uh, buying beer. We have worked with the co-working spaces, the brewery, and we have even a castle that had asked us for our device, yeah, for the one event they had. Our market, we're in Colombia, but we're planning to come here to the US and we want to enter through sports bars, which is the most obvious market, but really, like, there are lots of industries that do sell beer, you know, like tech spaces, hacker spaces, co-working spaces, even tech companies sell beer, so they could potentially use one. We have a really strong team, we have engineers, we have a master brewer, and we even have a cat. <laughs> so, we believe our team is really strong, but we need you. We want 150K to patent our product, to scale, and to make uh, reforming uh, uh, expen expenses. So guys, forget the line. Use flash beer, your beer in seconds. Thank you. Love it. I think it's awesome. We'd love to try to rock a space. My big question is, customer acquisition strategy, what is it, how does it work, how do you scale? Okay, I'm gonna pass this question to our CEO, Andres. Uh, good evening. Uh, well, we are thinking about a good uh, exposition strategy. Uh, we realize that uh, there are a lot of places when we can throw events. There are food and beverage conventions when we can showcase this product. Uh, also, uh, music events that are interested in this. Uh, we have actually do some exposition back home in some um, music venues. Uh, so that's how we can just show this to, to the world. Sorry, just to follow up on that. Like, I think this is a great idea. I think Rocket Space, we work a lot of places that use it. But you need a really clear customer acquisition strategy and a way to scale this out. you got to be able to scale it. Yeah, on the service side, I'm also concerned that you know underage folks might get a hold of the app, um, and then you're basically offering only one drink for people. Or are there options for multiple? Uh, right now, we built a prototype that is able to serve one beer. Well, we can now obviously uh, scale it to more than one beer. Uh, and about the concern about the underage, we can control that uh, via software. Okay, and I would be concerned also about multiple things that people, or tenders, can 